Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a search results page using the Divi Theme Builder. So obviously search is like a really important thing for your website. You want users to be able to find what they're looking for. So if that's your blog post or you know any kind of documentation or products or your portfolio, all these things you want to have lots of options in your search module, um, in the search bar where they're typing, and then you wanna be able to give them options when they view those results, right? So this tutorial is specifically about creating that page where when they type something in, right, a keyword or a phrase or whatever it is they're typing, and then you wanna show relevant results to them on a layout that's you know matching your website and is easy for you to edit using Divi. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do make that in the Divi Theme Builder. And I'm gonna show you a lot of things, um, some nice tips and tricks, and I pretty much guarantee you, you have not seen some of these, even if you've already created search results pages before in Divi. So stick around and you'll see what I mean. So I have a tutorial over here on the blog, and it's full of screenshots. In fact, I was getting really tired of, of creating these screenshots. It's actually uh, quite a bit down through here. Um, but you can follow along with that. Now, I'm going to do it on the video, so I won't be like showing you every uh, screenshot, but it's very detailed over here, you know, creating your template, which steps to take, assigning the template. Um, this is all working in the theme builder. And then we get there and we're like, we finally made it to there. And then um, we talk about setting the title. And I'm going to show you some tips here for sure. Uh, we're going to show you some things with our Divi search helper, which is um, really interesting. And then setting up the blog dynamically to show the results. All right, so I have just um, a demo site here. Now, when you go to Divi Theme Builder, you'll see something like this. Now, you may already have templates here. Um, that's fine. We're not going to you know, mess with that one. That's the default website template. But we do need to add a new one because this new one is going to be where we build that search results page. So click here, and then you'll see build new template, and then scroll to the very bottom. So your options here are going to vary depending on what post types you have or what plugins. Um, you know, for example, I have WooCommerce installed, so there's products. I have a custom post type called dogs that I have over here. So again, these options will, will vary, but what you're looking for here under these template settings, right? All the way at the bottom, search results. So just select that and then create template. Now, go ahead and click on save changes a while. Um, that can be helpful because if you don't do it now, you'll have to do it later. So now this template is saved, okay? Now, click on add custom body. So you have these three areas here, right? The header, the body, and the footer. We want to make the body. That's, that's the only thing that we want to edit, okay? So click on there, and then you can say build custom body. And then it opens up like this, and it's going to be like the normal visual builder, except there is this bar at the top, and it says edit search results body layout. Pretty simple, right? So you have the normal builder here, and then we can exit right here. You know, we have save button and everything like normal. So there's two primary things that we need to do. Now, there's some things that you could do. You can design this however you want, right? But there's two things that you absolutely must do and that's the title and it has to be dynamic and then the blog module or web products module or some some module to display the results right so let's start with the title i'll add a new row now for the title we need text right so i'm going to look for the text module okay now obviously we don't want this text so look for the little dynamic content icon, it says use dynamic content, turns blue when you hover, right? That is important. We need to select the post slash archive title. And the reason we're doing that is because the search results have a, have a dynamic um, text. I think it says like results for, and then it has like the keyword that you typed in. The only way that you can get that to work dynamically is if you use dynamic content. Now I'm going to show you one quick tip. I want this to be an H1, so like an H1 heading, right? 
So I'm gonna click this little gear icon. So right in here in the before, type in the caret symbol like that and then H1 and then the closing one, right? Now down here, do it again, do the exact same thing, except this time hit a forward slash and then H1 and then closing, okay? So before, essentially it puts H1 before and then this H1 closing after, right? And you could actually see it made it into an H1. So now if I were to go to like the heading text right here, like let's say I wanted that to be bold, see? I'm styling the H1. If I had not, if I had not set it over here to H1, that wouldn't be able to style it with the H1. Hope that makes sense. All right, so that's, that's really the basics. That's what we need. Now I'm gonna show you some really cool tips. But first, let's go ahead and add the next thing. Um, that will be, let's make another row. Just, we don't have to, but let's go ahead and make another row. Now here, let's add the blog. So blog module. I like to put this on, in the design tab, go to layout and put it on grid. You can do whatever you want, but either have grid or full width. It's just kind of easier to see, at least for this demo, right? All right, so there's really only one setting that you have to change. And again, change whatever you want, but under content, post for current page, that is absolutely critical. You have to do that. I wish this was named better. Basically, it means enable dynamic content. So when you see post for current page, just translate that to enable dynamic content, okay? That means that whatever search term you type into the search bar, these blog posts can match that. If you didn't have this enabled, it would literally put like just the normal latest blog posts. <laughs> it, would, it would literally not be the search results, okay? So it's kind of one of those things, it's like, it's so simple, but it's absolutely critical. Okay, so now again, you can do whatever you want. You know, we're kind of done. You know, you could, you could use this. Let's try it. I'm gonna save changes. And I want to make sure that I come out here and click save changes again. Because the very first time, I don't know why, but the very first time that you're in there and then come back out, you have to do it. Now, if I open that again and save, it'll use the save button to save. But this one, you have to come back and save it once. Little tip. Okay. Now, we need to actually like search, right? Okay. So over here, I have a page, just a random page on my site. And I added this search module. You know, when you go to add a new module and you type in search, right? There it is. Okay, so now I have two. <laughs> All right, so in this search module, there's not many settings. Uh, we're just gonna kind of ignore this for now. And we're just going to search for something. I don't even know if I have any posts on this site, but I'm just gonna type in like blog or something. I don't know what to type in. Oh, okay. So notice here, I it redirected instantly to the search results page that I just created. Remember making this bold and we made it dynamic. So it says results for, and then quote blog, because that's what I typed in. And then here, a blog post about something. So it's finding that. And then apparently like right here, it says blog post. Let's see, do I say blog in here somewhere? I might say it in the content. Oh yeah, right there, blog. So there's my results and that's it. There's your search results page, right? You have the dynamic title and you have your display. And now I can go click and I can read all about, you know, a blog about something. But honestly, it's kind of boring, isn't it? This results for, for one thing is, is not very exciting. I'm gonna show you now, this tutorial is over, but if you want to see some cool things, stick around. <laughs> so I created a plugin called Divi Search Helper. And the whole basis for this is upgrading the existing Divi Search module rather than creating an entirely new search module that you have to install and be separate and all that, right? So it upgrades what you already have in Divi. We already have this, you know, search bar and it's as boring as it gets and it's as featureless as it gets. <laughs> but if once we install the Divi search helper, 
Um, it adds tons of features. I don't know, 50, 60 different like features for designing, you know, the search bar. Um, in fact, I have a chart. <laughs> There's 65 features, okay, right now in version 2.1 when I'm recording this. Here's a list of all the things. And you can't read it because I'm going too fast. But like, you know, the icon, you know, searching, typing effect, a little icon there, field background color, focus color, border color, margin, padding. These are things it doesn't have. Box shadow, um, the button, you can have just an icon. You can have a text and an icon um, that just design everything about it. You can put your own text. You put it on the left. Maybe you don't want any button, or maybe you want a border or shadow. And then you can include post types, you can include taxonomies. You can choose all these like criteria settings. You can search for custom fields. Um, you even have live results like this. When you're typing, it automatically shows up live. You can sort by, you know, the date published, um, by order, descending, random, alphabetical. You can even customize this right here. This is what we're going to do. We can even customize what it says on your search results page. And you can even replace, you know, if, if, I, if I typed in something crazy, like just whatever, and I hit search, and then there was like results for blah, 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 no results found. Look how boring that is. No results found. The page you request could not be found. Try refining your search, blah, 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 blah. We can literally replace this with my own layout that I designed using the plugin. Okay. I'm going to enable it. And you can see literally by just enabling it, now I have this little icon here. We have an actual search button. We actually have space between the button and the search bar. And when I open up the builder and go into the settings, ta-da! We have all these new settings, all these new settings. You know, we have things for the search field. I can actually, you know, you know, type your query. I can put whatever, you know, I can say whatever I want there. I could show this icon or not. Um, I could pick an icon. I could put the icon on the left or the right. Um, clear search term. I really like this one. Disable input field history. That annoying little pop-up that comes when you're trying to type the search button. I could say, you know, find or whatever. Um, I can put it left or right. The search criteria is really cool. I can choose to include or exclude posts or projects or products or custom post types, whatever, right? or different types of taxonomies. I can search and try to include the title, like title only, like when I type, only matching the title of the post, or maybe matching the excerpt also, or maybe matching the content, or only the content. <laughs> or I could put in the meta keys for like advanced custom fields or things like that. So it's like, okay, wow, now we're really talking. Um, search results, I can choose to use the theme builder, which is what we're doing in this tutorial, or um, I could choose this, live reserve, live Ajax search results drop down, right? Let's go back to that one for now. I could choose by, you know, published date, alphabetical, relevance, and random. Those are all like super important features that you don't have otherwise. So this is the order that they display on that template, right, that I created here, right, when I when I type in a search. So this order, like by publish date, right, let's put it on um, relevance, I guess. And then you can choose descending or ascending. You can choose how many you want to show on that page. Here is a really cool thing. So these, I have, we have these like dynamic merge tags. So like for the number of results and then for the search term. So that's, this is the default one that we have in our plugin, but you can write whatever you want. The key here is to take this short code right here. So take that and then put it into the template. So I'm gonna actually get rid of this dynamic title. All right, so this short code here. Now I could actually make that short code and do a heading H1. This short code here is going to display what I have set right here. I hope that makes sense. So it's going to say the number of the results and then it's going to say these words. So like five search results for your query, you know, Divi or, or whatever you search, right? So whatever you write in here will show up in that short code. Okay, I realized I messed something up. I changed this criteria here. <laughs> let's reset that. Uh, let's reset that. I'm just going to leave it on default and like not choose any of those right now. I'm going to put this one alphabetical by title. I think it'll be easier to see. 
And there's actually this, this would be, could be a nice one. Open search results in a new tab. I'll turn that on as well. All right, I'm gonna type in blog. Okay, it opened the new tab and it says three search results for your query blog. So again, I could I can say whatever I want here and I can use these these dynamic variables to, to input this data, right? So remember I did it alphabetical by title and it was descending, so search, so like S-E, then S-A, and then A. So it's in alphabetical order, you know, descending there. Um, so it's you can control everything about how these results are displayed and this title from the search module. So it's, that's pretty cool. All right, so I know I went long there, but I was trying to show you all these cool things. There's a lot more to explore in the plugin. And of course, I'm really happy with the plugin because it's something I literally created. But it's something that I enjoy so much because it's so practical. Um, I use this on our own website. You can go over to our blog and, and try to find you know our blog post, right? All of our tutorials are gonna come up. So think of it that way. Think of, I have on the blog page on our website, let me show you. This search bar is literally set to show just the post. So I have documentation, I have pages, I have products, I have all of these things, right? But when you type in something here, so if I was to type in, you know, search helper, it's not gonna show me products, but it's gonna show me these blog posts like about the product, right? But it's not the actual WooCommerce product because I don't have it set for that. Now, if I type in Divi or something like that, you're gonna get like 424 results and there's pagination and all that. But there's an example of how I'm using this to refine my search results. Now, I don't have the same search result page set up like this because I I guess I just didn't think I needed it. I kind of like this, this one here. So I'll have a different tutorial on setting this up. Um, and if you think I should have this kind of page, let me know. We just added the features in um, this plugin to be able to choose. In other words, you could have a hybrid approach. So when I'm typing something here, we added a new feature where I could have a button show um, or a click enter. And so whatever I type, it'll actually go to that search result page. So it's a hybrid. You could either use the, you know, the Ajax live results, or I could say view all results, and then it will go to a page. So really similar to this, right? And then it would show them all. So I could set that up. I just haven't done that. All right, so hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know your feedback in the comments. Hey, if you have new feature ideas for this, something we are missing or something you wanna see added, let us know. Um, you know, this whole plugin and all of our plugins are really affected by user feedback from actual users. We love hearing from you. You know, a lot of times when I dig in and I'm, I'm really setting up one of our own plugins on one of the sites I'm creating, that's when I really think of like, oh, I wish I had this feature and then I just create it. Um, so if you're that way too and you're like working on any Divi module or whatever and you wish something existed, let me know. Um, that's, that's the kind of things we love creating. So yeah, sorry this got a little long, um, but I wanted to show you all these cool things. Hope you like it and we'll see you in the next video.